What's going on everybody? It's your boy Honky Kong and I'm standing here with a couple of my co-workers and uh, we're going to do a quick preview video on this upcoming, what is it, UFC on Fox Sports 1? Yeah. So uh, standing by with me here today is uh, my buddy Matt aka Vanilla Justice and he's going to, he, we're going to do what's called right or wrong. I'm going to introduce a fight, give you my pick and he's going to tell me if I'm right or wrong. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Chael Sonnen um, Shogun main event. And uh, Stoneman's coming off two straight losses, one of them to John Jones, one to Anderson Silva. So, I mean, the guy lost two fights to two of the top fighters in the world, so no big deal, no big deal there. Shogun is one and two in his last three fights with a close decision loss to Gustafson. Um, you know, he, uh, he TKO against Vera in what was a classic fight and dropped a close decision to Hendo in, in arguably one of the best top five fights in UFC history. So in this one, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm taking Shogun. I just think he's going to use his angles. I think his attack will be diversified enough to keep to keep Chael off him, and I think he's going to get a knockout second, maybe early third. All right, uh, Vanilla, what do you think? What's your what's your opinion on that? Right or wrong? So, uh, Shogun's winning this fight, knockout. Wrong. Tell Sonin, me why. Sonnen wins a decision, five rounds. Shogun don't have the greatest takedown defense, and uh, I think Sonnen will take advantage of it and uh, grind him out, win a decision. Okay. So you got you got Sonnen, five-round decision. Yep. Okay. All right, cool. Moving on. We're going to go to Yuri Alcantara and Faber. Now, Faber is coming off two straight really big wins, one over Ivan Menjivar and one over the always tough Scott Jorgensen. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Alcantara. Um, he's 3-1-1 one one in the UFC. He has, a, he has a loss and he has a no contest. I, I, I don't know much about the guy. Um, I'm, I'm going to take Faber in this one. And... Uh, what do you got, right or wrong? Favor against uh, over Alcantara. Pro I, think I think he's probably going to go ahead and grind out a decision. I think you're right. Okay. Decision. Three round grind. Three round grind. All right. Now we got Uriah Hall versus John Doomsday Howard. It's good to see Doomsday back. He uh, he left the UFC on a three fight skid back in 2010, 2011. But listen to the three fights he lost. Okay, Jake Ellenberger, Tiago Alves, and Matt Brown. So we're talking, and I believe one of those fights he didn't make weight. So the dude had a three-fight skid, but it was against three top-level dudes. Uh, three really good fighters. And Uriah Hall, this is his second fight in the UFC. I don't know if he's ready for a dude uh, that can bring it like Doomsday can. I'm taking Doomsday, and I'm going to take him via I'm gonna take him via knockout, and I think it's going to happen uh, early third. What do you got? What do you got, Vanilla? I think you're wrong. Okay, who, you're taking Uriah Hall, then. Taking Vanilla's your... taking Uriah Hall. Tell me why am I wrong. I just think his, his stand-up's a little too good for Howard. I think he's a little too quick, and I think he knocks him out in the second round. You, th you think he knocks out Doomsday, yes. really? Second now, you know round. Doomsday is, is a well-known for his stand-up. He's a very good stand-up fighter. Second round, okay. knockout. And you know, you're right. Vanilla. All right, Vanilla, Vanilla's, taking, uh, Vanilla's taking your eye hall, and that's cool, man. I'm, I'm not really with that pick, but whatever. Um, your eye hall is 0-1 in UFC competition. All right, moving on. Next fight we got is Alistar Overeem versus Travis Brown. And this is a fight that I really want to see just because somebody has the potential to get their face punched off their body. Um, Brown's coming off that brutal KO victory over Gabriel Gonzaga where he just hit him with an elbow that shattered his face. Mm. And, um, you know, we're going with uh, Alistar Overeem, who's 1-1 one one in the UFC, beat down Brock Lesnar, doing a video, beat down Brock Lesnar, and uh, got knocked out by uh, Antonio Bigfoot Silva. So I... Uh, this one, uh, no-brainer to me. Alistar with his extreme, his outstanding stand-up, his kickboxing history. I'm taking Alistar over him. Uh, Vanilla Justice, right or wrong? Alistar over Travis Brown, knockout. <laughs> Victory. I think you're first right. round, first round. I think you're right. I think it'll be second-round knockout, but I wouldn't be surprised okay. if during the training camp, especially training with, with uh, Jackson MMA, if they come up with a game plan for over him to take him down and... Uh, so Brown you're saying Travis Brown is trading? Travis Brown's training with uh, with Jackson's MMA or or L Star? Ja Jackson's MMA. Travis that's Brown. Travis is. Brown. Yeah. See, that's why I have Vanilla. He has that that MMA insight. He pays attention to this shit. But, I'm uh, casual. I agree. I think you're right. I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, Overeem will get it done. But I think second round knockout. Okay. All right. Moving on. What's our last fight we're going to talk about here? Vanilla Justice, and that would be Michael Johnson versus Joe Lowe. By the way, I got two. I got two special guests here. One's my one is my homeboy Jason. The other one is uh my, my homeboy Jim, who's hiding his face because he's wanted for fucking child rape, probably. He's a big ass fucking pedo. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Look, look, look. Oh, here comes the camera. <laughs> fucking weirdo. All right. So we're going back. We're going to go to uh, Michael Johnson and Joe Lozon. 
Michael Johnson, interesting dude, four and four in the UFC. He's on a two fight skid right now. He got um, he got beat by decision by Miles Jury, and he was choked out by Reza Madadi. Madadi, I don't know how to say his name. Lozon is also one and three in his last couple fights. He beat Jamie Varner, um, lost the decision to Jim Miller, and he got that epic knock. He was the victim of the epic knockout by uh, the monster Showtime Pettis. I just uh, I, I got to take Lozon in this. He always shows up big. Michael Johnson to me is a guy that's probably going to be out of the UFC after this fight. Unfortunately, you know he's on two fights. Get I don't see him. I don't see his skill set overcoming Lozon. Lozon's too damn good in the ground, and he's too fearless in his stand up. I'm taking Lozon to push the pace. Probably get him against the fence. Maybe hit him with a shot, hurt him, take him down, and more than likely submit him somehow. Because Lozon is an absolute fucking animal. That's what I got. Vanilla Justice, right or wrong, Joe Lozon. You're right, and I think it'll go exactly like you said. I think he'll. He'll catch him like he did when he fought uh, Melvin Gillard. Maybe okay. catch up on the feet. Hurt him. And then, uh, Take his back, then it's a wrap. Yeah, Johnson, on your back, it's Johnson's over ground game ain't, uh, ain't good at all, so I think... Ah, uh -huh, we got his face. Uh, uh, I Jim. think Lozon cracks him, takes him down rear naked. Fucking Interpol's after I'm going to say second round. Second round. Second round, Lozon, rear naked. That's that's not a bad pick. I can, I can live with that. Uh, Mr... Uh, we need a we need a we need an internet name. Don't don't do no racist shit. What can your this oh, has wow, to be on really? YouTube? What can your internet name be? You want to talk about MMA? What do you want to talk about? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only fucking black dude in the world that is disgusted by fried chicken. I'm not joking. Tell him. <laughs> not just fried chicken. All yeah, no, chicken. all chicken. He won't touch any fucking chicken. So that's that's not me being a racist. That shit's his truth. So you racist motherfuckers out there that think all black people like chicken, you're fucking wrong. But you heard like it here first from your boy Honky Kong. Uh, Vanilla Justice, we got the unknown token because he won't say his fucking name. And uh, that's it. Right now, uh, I'm out of here. Peace. Everybody be safe. You got any comments, hit me up.